things differently is what Matt Lewis is the political wake-up call to focus not all the things that we can fight over but to focus us on the few things we can agree on and get after it as opposed right. to being in this fragmented universe of, of, of madness well look I What's do the wake up call? I do hope that this does serve as a wake-up call to address the budget but I do want to say uh, the, the way that this was portrayed even if you buy the numbers sure. right it was portrayed that the era of America is over uh, I think that is is, is very uh, misleading. Surely superlative. I, right. I, I, and let, let me explain a couple of things that, that really weren't brought out. I mean, first of all, I believe in freedom, and not just because I like to be free, but because of creativity, entrepreneurship, and uh, ideas, inventions, having immigration come here, folks who come here who can invent. China doesn't have that. Communism can't compete with us on ideas. Uh, and the other thing, though, frankly, is this ticking time bomb in China that has to do with demographics. The one child per family rule yeah. is going to mean that they are going to have in 20 or 30 sure. years and that's one why I, young again, person supporting four or five adults, and, 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 and much to do that. about nothing. So China as boogeyman at the very least or a stalking horse for the United States sort of muddling around, at some point, if it's not China, it'll be Brazil. If it's not Brazil, it'll be India. What is the wake-up call, Christian, that will get, not forget the politicians, the American people and the American political factions to line up and force the politicians to actually knock it off so to speak so I want to endorse what Matt said, and you know, and I don't. Take China data. This is well, first. No, this no, first. in terms of China. No, and I, and I think it is important, right? Like, I hear a lot actually from American businessmen. You know, they're kind of like that Chinese authoritarianism. It's kind of a great thing. You know, we go into China, yeah. we want to do a deal. You know, they don't worry about. You know, they can just wipe out villages from the road to my factory. Isn't yeah. that terrific? And I think it is important yeah, to remember, right? Like, communism actually it didn't work. The Soviet Union fell apart. Chinese communism, I think, has a lot of great internal.